I grew up in Bangladesh, a small developing country performing extremely well in the field of public health. In the last 25 years, Bangladesh has decreased childhood mortality by over 76%. However, in recent years, the success of battling infections is coming to a standstill due to rise in antibiotic resistant infections. After coming to study in Canada, I've realized that this problem of antibiotic resistance is a global problem. In the US alone, 23,000 people die every year as a direct result. Conventional antibiotics are progressively becoming less effective. Bacteria are evolving really fast to gain resistance, sometimes within months of introduction of new drugs. With very few antibiotics in the pipeline, we are losing the arms race against bacterial evolution. So for my PhD project, this is the problem I want to tackle. I study these uh, particles called bacteriosins. So bacteriosins are molecules that are produced by some bacteria to kill and outcompete other bacteria to protect their niche. The specific kind of bacteriosins that I study are depicted in the middle panel. They are these harpoon-like nanomachines with fibers that bind to the surface of bacteria and a needle that punctures a hole through the membrane, killing the cells. I have found several such bacteriosins that kill different strains of bacteria. Through whole genome sequencing and recombination assays, I found that the genes that are required for the formation of the fibers um, can be changed to engineer these particles to kill new strains of bacteria that were previously resistant to them. In other words, as bacteria become resistant to one such particle, I can engineer it to kill the resistant bacteria and keep up with antibiotic resistance. Also, this ability to engineer bacteriosins to target specifically pathogenic bacteria gives them a huge advantage over conventional antibiotics that kill both pathogenic and beneficial bacteria. In our bodies, more than 99% of the bacteria are beneficial for us. So these bacteriosins are like nano snipers that specifically kill selected bacteria without any collateral damage. Um, I have also developed a safe and cost-effective method to produce them in large scale in any setting. And our next step is to test them in animal models. My dream is that one day we will use particles like this as therapeutics in Bangladesh and all over the world to keep children happy, healthy, and flying their kites. Thank you.